Hey guys, Moltrap here, another audio commentary going on, going down, um, this is on Big Bagoji, this is between, uh, Luxury and Hiri, uh, before I get started, someone had asked on somewhere, they wanted to know what the Korean fans scream in the beginning, uh, they're usually screaming like, so-and-so fighting, so-and-so fighting, so the fans go back and forth, one for each, um, they're just saying like, go, go, so-and-so, anyways, uh, Hiri is, is the, the Terran here, uh, Luxury is the Zerg in the top right corner, um, Hiri, uh, I've seen, uh, in playing a lot of games lately, he was in, what was that, he was in the qualifier rounds for MSL, I think, round of 32, and, um, I, I could be wrong on that, but, uh, he was in one of the Star Lake opening rounds, and he got smoked, and, um, it was okay. Uh, he didn't play that impressively at all, somehow he's, he's, um, got a decent record, though, I think. Actually, I forgot to check his record. Um, but, I mean, I've seen him have wins. I, I know that. And uh, he got into the Star League, so, you know, there is that. So, he can't be horrible. Anyways, Luxury is the reason I'm doing this match. Um, i kind of been taking a notice of Luxury lately. He's been, uh, you know, getting put in in the, the, the Pro League. And uh, he's been kind of, uh, you know, showing himself in the Pro League. And also, I mean, you know, he, he think he's an OSC. He's uh, in the uh, the Star Challenge to get into the to try and get a seed for the next um, Star League, the next OSL, um, which is a crazy system, by the way. I was looking at the the crap. Oh crap! Wait, uh, Luxury is putting down a drone somewhere. I kept kept mention I kept mentioning to people like I hope. Um, wait, oh, never mind, that was just Hatcherian's base. I thought that was the drone that was in, uh, Hiri's base. I keep t saying that I, I want, uh, some Zerg players to do, like, a, um, a sunken colony rush on this map. And, oh, wow, uh, there's a luxury doing some little, uh, fancy dancing with his, um, uh, drone. They're almost killing that SCV. Anyways, I keep wanting Zergs to do a sunken colony rush on this map, since there's neutral creep right outside the enemy base. And so it wouldn't be that difficult. Um, try and throw some sunks down there real quick. Um probably get counter rush, but oh well. Anyways, um, so yeah, Luxury has been kind of impressing me lately, and so I kind of want to see see how he plays on this match, and um, see how he does. Check out his Zerg versus Terran. Uh, yeah, OS, OSC is just absolutely insane. I guess in order to, basically, in order to um, get that fourth seed, I think, and I could have this wrong, I think Luxury basically has to um, beat his group of four with 2-0, and then there will be six of those, and then he has to beat another one of those at a best of three, and then he'll be in the top three with whoever gets fourth in the OSL. They'll make four, and then they all play off against each other to get that seed. So it's it's absolutely insane what they have to go through just to get that seed. Um, anyways, I don't know a whole lot about it. Anyways, so um, here he getting uh, his, his factory up quick. He's going for a very quick tech build. Sending his barracks out to uh, do some scouting, and he's uh, killing off that sunken colony. That's, that's that neutral creep that I was talking about. Um, trying to clear off space because there is, th in this map, there's like an absolute shit ton of minerals at your main and two gases, so it makes for a very high volume game in that sense. Uh, and then there's also these, these, this like little tiny secondary with three mineral spots that's also kind of in your main within the choke there. Um, and so it, it's actually kind of advantageous to the Zergs because, well, it, for that at least, for that part of it, because then the Zergs don't have to worry about spending the time to um, kill off those Sunken Colonies in order to, excuse me, in order to uh, plant down that expansion, whereas uh, a Terran or a Protoss are going to have to uh, get some forces out there and take out those Sunkens and wait for those the creep to recede before they can really do anything. A luxury going for a quick lair. Both players going very quick tech, but Luxury has a Ling inside of Hiri's base. That was rather careless of Hiri actually letting that Ling inside of his base. Um, I thought he had his door cordoned off, but uh, he apparently didn't, and uh, he's able to sneak in there. He sees that starport, so it's going to be up to Luxury here to, to adjust it or his strategy or not. He's going for that Spire. He has the Spire going down right now, so it looks like he's just going to try and race um, that Spire up. He's not going to go... I was I would expect him to try and get a, a den or something like that, um, but he is, does not appear to be getting a den. Um, he's just basically going straight for that, and uh, he's... Sorry, here he is getting a wraith out now, and now he's getting a second second factory down. So he's prepared for if this wraith thing does not work, he's still going to be able to um, uh, start putting forces down. Uh, in the meantime, 
Wow, okay. So Luxury's gotten a, a third a third base, a third uh, hatchery there. And uh, still no Wraiths out yet for Hiri. So he might be able to get that. Oh, he does have Wraith out. I'm sorry. That Wraith just came out, taking out an Overlord there. Uh, basically, I think that Luxury is probably going to be able to hold this off. Um, by the time that Wraith gets to his base, his Spire will almost be up. He'll be able to get some Scourges out. But in the meantime, he's going to lose probably all of his Overlords and uh, probably a couple drones. Um, okay, so here he instead going for that. No, he's not going for that Sun Colony. I thought he was going for the Sunken. I guess he probably just had it on attack move for that moment. Um, so yeah, uh, Luxury Spire coming in right now. You can see him probably morphing two more overlords right there because he lost one and now he's going to lose another here in a second. He's probably going to lose that other overlord on the left side of the screen right now. Also, before anything pops, the Spire is up. So uh, maybe those weren't overlords. Maybe those were Scourges that were coming out. And uh, Luxury uh, um, now probably going into a bit of econ mode. And uh, yeah, here he knows that he needs a little bit of defense now because he didn't go for a lot of forces. He went for that tech instead for the raids. Now he's got the control tower attached there. It doesn't look like he's researched anything. So, um, oh, he's got Goliaths as well. So very interesting sort of a build for Hiri here. Not going for the usual um, sort of thing. Uh, he's getting Goliaths there, probably in anticipation of, of the, 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 obviously, the Mutalisks and the, and the uh, Scourges and what have you. Um, so very interesting indeed. Uh, now he's got his door walled off there. Mutalisk Harass coming in here. Uh, here he doesn't really have a lot, no, though. He only has those two Goliaths. He's putting out more Goliaths right now, probably, but in the meantime, he only has two Goliaths, and, um, but apparently that was enough to scare off, uh, Luxury. I guess he, he just wanted to pick off some SCVs, and, uh, that was that. He didn't want to go for anything more. He did pick off some SCVs. In the meantime, what the fuck is Harry doing? He doesn't have any fucking, um, uh, defense. He doesn't have any, an engineering bay up. His Wraith is nowhere to be seen, unless his Wraith got killed out when I wasn't noticing. Uh, but he is getting Science Vessels, at least, um, and Irradiate, so he's going for the long haul there. But in the meantime, uh, he doesn't really have a lot to keep Luxury from picking off all his SCVs. With not many uh, Mutalisks, he's building up his Mutalisks. It looks like he has, uh, uh, it's hard to tell, 7 or 8 Mutalisks now. Uh, he's going to lose that Wraith probably right now. Uh, no, not quite. Oh, the Wraith does go down. One of the Scourges hit. I didn't think there's, the Scourge was going to hit, but it did. Okay, so actually, Luxury does have several Amulets here. He's building up some Lings as well. So this could be very bad for uh, Hiri indeed if if he, if he Luxury goes in with a substantial force before that Science Vessel gets to radiate because uh, most of... Okay, so here he is going... I'm sorry, Luxury is going in here. He's got some Lings on the ground as well. That Bunker is going to do a little bit of damage, though. All of his Lings are dead. Uh, Luxury needs to pull back, and he does pull back here. He's pulling back. Um, equal Goliath versus um, Mutalist is not good. Luxury needs to send in a lot more Lings, I think, in order to take out those Goliaths because uh, well, the Goliaths are obviously a lot better against air than against the ground. Um, it looks like he took out... And that Bunker is not helping either. Uh, I would say that he should run him by. Okay, Luxury going in for another attack here. Uh, Irradiate goes off on a Ling. What the hell is he doing? Irradiate... Maybe he missed his irradiate. Maybe I saw that wrong, but I think he just irradiated Link. Almost all of Hiri's Goliaths are now dead. He's got two left, um, and uh, and in the meantime, Luxury has a lot of a lot of Mutalists left. Uh, more Goliaths coming out. Uh, he's not doing anything to protect those Goliaths. He's not repairing them or anything like that. He's kind of trying to repair them, but he's not doing a good job of it. Oh, the bunker went down as well to those Links, so this is looking extremely bad for Hiri. He's sending out all his SCVs, but um, sorry, buddy, you can't attack Mutalists with SCVs. He's trying to get that bunker up, but he doesn't have any Marines to go in it anyways. So this is basically it for Hiri, it looks like. Um, I don't think there's any way he can get out of this. He might have an Irradiate coming here, but it, it's going to depend. It, even if it takes uh, Luxury a long time to... Um... Oh, and Hiri being an absolute noob there, not putting his Marine into the bunker. And um, wow, that was a pretty um, poor performance by Hiri, I have to say. Um, I mean, people bitch at me for like saying that these gamers are bad. I, I can't emphasize enough how they could all pwn me up the ass any day of the week uh, in their sleep, but uh, compared to other gamers, though, that was pretty noob. Um, that's, what I, that's what I mean. That's my context when I say things like that. So, anyways, uh, well done by Luxury. Um, kind of open he wins the Star Challenge so we can see him in uh, OSL next season. That'd be interesting to see. All right, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for listening.